Hey everybody, welcome back to the 80 Slashers YouTube channel. In this video, we will be taking a look at the top 10 highest rated 80 Slashers accord according to IMDb. Now, for those of you who are not aware, IMDb, um, which is basically the Internet Movie Database, is what I consider to be the definitive website for all things movie related. You know, on this site you can find, you know, all relevant information about a film, you know, including, you know, information about the cast and crew, filming locations, release dates, trivia, um, goofs, uh, you know, continuity errors, uh, technical specs, all that stuff. And it, uh, included, of course, is also reviews and ratings from both film critics and the general public. So when you when you look at one of these overall ratings for a film, um, it's based on the average rating giving given by the thousands of people who have you know cared enough to to rate the film. So we will be using these ratings to see which are the top ten highest rated eighty slashers on the entire website. Now, um, for the purposes of this video, I have, um, on my own personal, you know, spreadsheet ranking, um, I have a total of 164 films that I've identified as 80 slashers. Um, you know, some people may have more films, some people may have less, you know, depending on, you know, what meets your criteria for an 80 slasher. But again, for, for this video, um, I have, I've identified 164. Now, of those 164 films, the lowest rated film has an average IMDb score of 2.6. And the highest, which will be discussed in this video, um, has a score of 7.5. The average of all these 164 films, uh, the average rating for an 80 slasher is 5.0. So, you know, that's, that's the range we're working in here. You know, I, I, I know these t horror films in general, um, especially 80 slashers, you know, they're not always given the highest marks, you know, with the, you know, the general public. So yeah, 2.6 to 7.5 is the range that we're working in here. So, you know, there's going to be no eights, nines, tens, you know, that's just not the way that most people view these films. Um, I do, I have a lot of these films rated as a 10 and a nine, but you know, I'm not the general public, I guess. All right. So one last thing, um, before we get into this is there, there are a few ties on this list. Like, you know, some with, with the exact same rating. So what I basically did to break the tie is um, you also see the number of ratings um, that have been submitted to, to get that score. So basically if a film has, the, the, the more ratings it has, the more people who have rated it, if they have the same score, um, the film with, with, with the most ratings is, is going to be ranked above it. You know, it's, it's harder to get that average score when there's more people. So I'm going to take that as, as, as the, the highest rated film, if that makes sense. Uh, and of course, these are the ratings as of now, when this video is being made. These ratings change all the time. It just as more people rate and review these films, these, these, these ratings do go up and down and they fluctuate. But um, yeah, as of now, these, these are the ratings. So uh, all right, so let's let's just get into it. This should be fun, as there's definitely a few surprises that made the list here. Um, a few of these surprises are, you know, that some of them, like I said, just actually made the top ten, and there's some surprises of where they they fell within the top ten. Um, both both good and bad, in my opinion. All right, let's let's just hop into it. So let's uh, take a look at number ten. So coming at number 10, we have The Burning from 1981. Uh, it has a score of 6.4 with uh, 18,000 uh, ratings. Now, I'm, I'm glad that The Burning made the top 10. In my opinion, it, it deserves to be here for sure. You know, number 10 uh, seems about right for me um, for where this film should fall. You know, um, 
in comparison to some of the films ahead of it on this list, um, I feel it's a little low. Um, but you know, it, 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 you know, number 10 is, is about right for me. So, um, you know, this, this film has it all for the genre, you know, it has a great setting, great kills, some, some good nudity, um, a good killer, great practical effects. It's it just, it's your, it's your typical 80s slasher done right. So yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm good with the burning being number 10. It, it, it's a good spot for it. All right, let's, uh, go on to number nine. All right, so coming at number nine, we have Friday the 13th from 1980. Uh, again, a, an average score of 6.4, but this one had 132,000 ratings. Now, anyone who's familiar with this channel knows that this is a huge disappointment for me, as this is my number one 80s slasher of all time. I, I love this film. It's my, it, I, I think it's the best 80s slasher of all. So yeah, coming at number nine is... Um, yeah, I, that's too bad. I really would have thought it would have came in a little higher, you know, especially again, in comparison to some of the others on this list, this for me is the biggest misstep at, of all in this top 10. Um, you know, again, this, this film, not only like, like the burning, it has it all, you know, great setting kills, uh, you know, amazing killer, fantastic practical effects. Um, it, yeah, it just, it, it just has it all. But of course this, this is the film that, that started it all. This is, you know, the, this is like kind of the first 80s slasher. Um, you know, of course there was films that, in, that inspired this film, but you know, in terms of an actual timeline of the eighties, um, this is, this is one of the first ones and it's one that kicked off the craze. So yeah, coming at number nine, a little disappointing for me, but, um, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. All right, let's take a look at number eight. All right, so coming at number eight, we have Maniac from 1980. Uh, has a score of 6.5 uh, with um, 16,000 uh, ratings. Now, again, this seems about right for Maniac. You know, if, if this were, were my top 10 list, you know, Maniac making the top 10 is, yeah, that, that's about right. Number eight seems appropriate for this film. You know, this is a great film. It's very, very unique in the genre. You know, it's, um, there's not too many films like it. it really has that sleazy feel, captures, you know, um, you know, New York City really good, like the subways. It's just, yeah, it's just a really unique film. And I'm, I'm glad that it's getting the love on this list that it is because it, it deserves to be a top 10 film. And it's, um, yeah. So yeah, I'm glad it's here. This, this, this was a, a pretty good pick, I think. Um, all right, let's take a look at number seven. All right, so count number seven, we have Halloween 2 from 1981, also with a 6.5. Uh, this one has 85,000 uh, ratings. Now, um, again, just like Maniac and The Burning, this the, I feel this film deserves to be in these top ten. Um, number seven, again, it, it's about right for me. I'm this this feels right. Um, you know, besides the original film, and this is you know in the franchise, this is my favorite Halloween film in the franchise, and it's without a doubt the best of the eighty slashers um, Halloween films, like by a lot. Uh, in my opinion, you know, like compared to like parts four and five, they, you know, they can't compete with this film. Um, so yeah, this, I'm, I'm glad this one, it, it's good to see, and it's good to see that the franchise is, is represented uh, in these top 10, you know, um, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't seem, this list wouldn't seem complete without, without a Halloween film. Uh, I just, I don't know, that's just the way it seems. So yeah, number seven, Halloween two. All right, let's take a look at uh, number six. All right, so coming at number six, we have A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors, from 1987. Uh, this has a score of 6.6, .6, and there was 77,000 uh, ratings. 
So yeah, so now we get the you know the the last of the you know the big three franchises appearing on this list with you know Friday, Halloween, and Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, so that's good. So you know it, this this whole thing is is you know the big franchises are represented. So that's always a good thing. Now this is the first one on this list that I kind of have an issue with. Now I I like this film quite a bit. I I I really like this film, but. It's not, it's not, for, for, for me, it's not in my top six for sure. It's nowhere near my top six of 80 slashers. Um, again, and that, that's, that's a personal taste, you know, for me. Um, you know, the, I believe this is more of a case of reputation beating out quality, you know? And like, again, I don't want to knock the quality of this film. I, I like it, but I just, I don't know. I just don't feel it's... Um, I just don't feel like this film is warranted as a as a top six eighty slasher. You know, maybe it's something to do with it's, you know these these supernatural slashers. They're um, they they I set them in a category apart. Again, just my subjective opinion, but uh, I, I I like you know the straightforward formulaic eighty slasher. Those are the ones I enjoy the most. And this obviously is, is not that, but it's an important film, popular film. People love it, so obviously you know it's coming in at number six and. In terms of like being, um, how well the film was made, yeah, I, I can't argue that it, it is a really well made film. So in that regard, it deserves to be here, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, so again, I, 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 it sounds like I'm bashing the film. I'm not bashing the film. I just, I just don't think it should be number six on this list. Just again, my opinion, of course. All right, let's uh, let's move on to number five. All right, so count number five, we have Child's Play, 1988, uh, score 6.6 .6 with 96,000 ratings. Now, I have the same feelings for this as I, as I do for uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. Um, but, you know, I, I like Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 more than this film. Um, I, I still enjoy this film. It's fine. Uh, it's just this film should be nowhere near the top five, in my opinion. Um, I, I, again, it, it's I, I, I feel like it's more of a reputation over quality type thing. You know, this is a popular film. It did really well, really, really well at the box office. And, you know, people like it. You know, people grew up with this film. It's very nostalgic for people. And it, it's, you know, it, it's well made. You know, again, if this was based on the, you know, top five in terms of being the best made films, then yeah, I, I can easily see this being in the top five. But, you know, I'm, that's, that's not, that's not how I'm viewing these rankings. I, I'm viewing them as, you know, what are the best films, the most fun, enjoyable films, the most representative of the, of the genre itself. And there's no way that I could justify this at number five. But, um, Again, not not bashing the film. It's a good film. Just my thoughts on where it should uh, where it should rank. So, yeah, number five, Child's Play. All right, let's take a look at number four. All right, so coming to number four, we have Stage Fright from nineteen eighty seven. Has a rating of six point seven with seventy five. I'm sorry, seven and a half thousand ratings so this is the first surprise on this list i i didn't think this would make the top 10 at all um but you know what it <laughs> it makes me so happy that stage fright is is on this list because i i, I love this film this film is fantastic and uh, i'm glad other people seem to view it in the, the same way as i do um it's great you know to, to come in at number four uh, it, it speaks volumes about, you know, what people think of this film. It's, um, it's really good. Now, of course, there's only seven and a half thousand ratings on this. So you kind of have to take that with a grain of salt. You know, if this had, you know, 50, 60, 70,000 ratings, like some of like the bigger films, like the child's play and the Halloween and all that stuff, um, it, it may not have this high of a score, you know, it, it, it might, but again, we just have to, you know, it, there's only seven, seven and a half thousand people reviewed this, so uh, rated this film. Regardless, I'm, I'm happy. It's, you know, it's, um, to be honest, it's a little high for my rankings. I don't have this as my fourth favorite 
80 slasher of all time but it's up there it's i, I have it pretty high and um i i love it so yeah i'm i'm glad to see this here it's, it's a nice pleasant surprise all right let's uh take a look at number three All right, so coming at number three, we have Dark Knight of the Scarecrow from 1981. It has a 6.8 rating with 6,000 um, ratings. Now, obviously, this is the biggest surprise in these entire rankings. Uh, I was kind of shocked to see to see this so high. Um, you know, this if, if you don't know, this, this was a made-for-TV film in 81 you know it was catching on you know 81 that the height of the 80s slasher craze everyone was making them so they just you know decided to make made one for tv so you know obviously being on tv it has its limitations in terms of like the blood and the violence and the sex and the nudity and whatnot um so because of that i, I yeah i'm surprised that it that it ranked this high obviously on on, on this <laughs> this would no get nowhere near the top three for me but um I do know that people like this film a lot. It had a good reputation, enough so that, you know, a TV movie has gotten multiple, you know, DVD releases and Blu-ray releases. So it's obviously popular enough that, you know, pe people enjoy this film. But uh, coming at number three is pretty shocking. And again, 6,000 ratings. This is the lowest in, in this top 10. No other film has as few ratings as, as Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. So again, we have to take that with a grain of salt. Uh, in, you know, if this had 50,000 ratings, I'm sure it wouldn't hold up at a 6.8. Um, maybe it would, you know, who knows? But uh, yeah, so that's kind of a, definitely the biggest surprise in this list. All right, let's uh, take a look at number two. All right, so coming to number two, we have The Stepfather from 1987. It uh, also has a 6.8 score uh, with 15,000 ratings. Now, this is a, another surprise, at least for me. You know, um, I know this 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 film is loved by a lot of people, um, and you know, it's a good movie. And I, again, this is another one of those. You know, if if the, if this was based on the, you know, best made, uh, that this this would definitely qualify. This this is a good film. This is kind of a bigger budget. Um, just a, a really well-made film, not really going for the cheap scares and like the, it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't follow the typical 80s slasher formula. It's more of an adult, more of a drama, more of a horror film as opposed to just cheesy 80s slasher. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it, it's a little different for, for these, for, for these, this, this ranking, but, um. Yeah, come number two, you know, it's it's like I said, it's a surprise, a little high for me. Obviously, I, I wouldn't have this in my top, top two, but um, yeah, it is what it is. People people really do seem to like this film, so yeah, number two, the stepfather. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at number one. All right, so the highest rated eighty slasher of all time is A Nightmare on Elm Street from 1984. It has a rating of 7.5 uh, with over 223,000 uh, ratings, which is which is the most we've, we've on this list. No film has had so many ratings. You know, th this is not a surprise that this made number one. You know, like, like I said, it had the most ratings, so it's obviously the most popular film. Um, number two on this list in terms of number of ratings was Friday the 13th, which had 132,000 ratings. Um, you know, I, I guess <laughs> I guess I'm all right with this being number one. Um, on my list, on my, you know, 80 slasher rankings, this film's nowhere near number one. Again, I like this film. Um, you know, if you've been watching this this channel for some time you you know my thoughts on the on nightmare on elm street franchise it's it's not my favorite franchise i i have a lot of issues with a lot of the films parts one and parts three in my opinion are clearly the best in the film in the franchise and i, I like them both i i just um 
you know, I, I just don't view, again, it's, it's that supernatural aspect, I think, like I talked about with part three. Uh, I just, I don't view it in the same light as, you know, like the the Friday the 13th films and the Halloween films even. And, you know, films, uh, you know, the My Bloody Valentines and Prom Nights and Terror Train, you know, the, the stuff that follows the, the, the typical formula. Um, and because of that, I, I can't put it up up there with them. Again, that's just my highly subjective opinion. Uh so yeah, I, I view this as, as being number one. I view this as again a reputation over quality. Not that this is a bad film. It's really well made, you know. You, you can't knock Wes Craven. Wes Craven every film he does just has a a quality to it, which is just fantastic. So very well made film. Very important film. Of course. This is one of this is if this may be the most important film in the whole franchise, you know, you know, Friday the 13th. And a Nightmare on Elm Street, um, arguably the two most important films in the franchise. It, it this film revitalized the whole genre. So for for that, it, you have to give it props, and it is a good film. Freddy Krueger is amazing, uh, in, especially in this film. He's still scary and creepy before he went all cartoony. Um, so yeah, this is in in some ways, it definitely is deserving of the number one spot. Um. It's just, you know, in terms of most enjoyable film, I wouldn't put this at number one, but I get it. I get people, I'm in the minority. I, I understand that. People love this film. People love this franchise more than any other franchise in horror. Uh, again, just my thoughts and opinions. So yeah, so coming to number one, Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984. Uh, not too surprising. So there you go. The the uh, that, that That's it. That's the top 10 uh, highest rated 80 slashers according to IMDb and uh, number one only gets a 7.5 out of 10 so that's what the general public thinks of these films so um yeah that's pretty interesting you know so uh yeah that's it guys so hopefully you guys enjoy this just kind of just kind of a quick fun little video here um I, I I'll probably do the top 10 worst rated 80 slashers according to IMDb. So that should be an interesting one. Um, those are going to be some really low numbers. So uh, yeah, look, look, stay tuned for that. Look, um, yeah, subscribe to the channel and uh, notifications, all that stuff. And that, that video will pop up soonish in a few weeks, probably. All right, guys, that's it. So uh, yeah, until next time. All right. See ya.